what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The mother who posted a viral video of her son, Keaton Jones, talking about being bullied is facing some criticism today. Kimberly Jones, boy, she got us good, didn't she? In fact, she got the whole world on this one. Well, she didn't get the whole world. Some people were skeptical from the jump. I wasn't. I was one of those people who gave them the benefit of the doubt that the little kid was authentic. Uh, the mother was authentic. I didn't try to read between any lines or try to take it for anything but face value that the little boy was sincere about being bullied and his mother was sincere about recording the video to help spread awareness about the seriousness of bullying. Now, since this video has gone viral, celebrities have come out the woodworks supporting the boy, offering tickets to concerts, free tickets to concerts, free tickets to football games, basketball games, offering to fly him out to their home. I mean, the little dude just got all kind of support. I mean, it looked pretty good from where I was sitting. Come to find out, the mother is a racist. They got photos of her, several photos of Confederate flags posted on her Facebook page and derogatory comments that she's made uh, aimed at people that don't look like her. In fact, she is anti-Kaepernick, she is anti-Black, she is anti-Muslim, anti-Hispanic. I mean, she just got a lot of antis going on. So she got this photo of herself holding a gun on the porch, on the steps of the porch. And her little, she's flanked by her kids. Her daughter, I think, is holding a little dog. One of her sons is holding a Confederate flag and the other a U.S. flag. Since then, her GoFundMe account has raised $60,000. It's been put on hold. How long, we don't know. Now, supposedly somebody who doesn't know her started the GoFundMe account in her name. She says that she never recorded the video so that she could receive GoFundMe money. Hey, man, I don't know. All I do know is that she got us good. Now, here's the thing. I don't like judging people, prejudging people. I really do judge people by the content of their character. I understand the historical uh, relationship between blacks and whites in this country. There has been a lot of pain administered to blacks by whites in this country, starting with slavery, Jim Crow, discrimination, red line, on and on and on and on and on. You can keep going, even to now with all of the police shootings. So I understand where the anger comes from with black people when it comes to white people. It's the hate that hate produced. But when you make broad generalizations about people, when you make the assumption that all white people are racist and Confederate flag wavers, it's akin to white people making the same broad generalizations about black people that all black people are on welfare or that all black people are criminals. You can't have it both ways. White people can't have it both ways. Black people can't have it both ways. 
Having said that, a lot of people made the assumption that the little kid, parents was racist, they're probably Confederate flag wavers and all of this stuff. And I was like, man, get out of here, man. Because I was looking at it for what it was, just on the surface. I didn't have any details about the mother. I had no details about the kid. All I knew, all I saw was a kid in pain, a kid crying, reaching, crying out for help. That's all I saw. So... I based my opinion strictly off of that. And I felt some empathy for the little dude, as I would with any little kid, period. On this one, they got me. The mama is clearly a racist. And she's teaching that little boy to be a racist. She's also teaching his siblings to be racist. Some people say, well, the mother's actions have nothing to do with the little boy. I mean, he's still being bullied and da da da. Ah, no, stop, skirt, hit your brakes. No. The mother's actions have everything to do with the little boy because she's teaching him how to hate. And from what is being said, the little boy had been calling some kids at the school the N-word, and they retaliated. Also, the little boy on the same day was caught putting up the Nazi sign, doing the Nazi salute. So he's like 11 years old, 10, 11 years old, 12, something like that. He knows what he's doing. So I got to withdraw my support for his little ass. Straight up, man. Look, man, I don't appreciate bullies. I don't like bullies whatsoever. But the way I see it, this little fucker is going to be one of them Dylan Roof's types. And so we may as well get a jump on getting at his ass. Yeah, man, I'm taking it all back. I'm taking all my support back. I'm taking it all back. Fuck that. We're going to have to deal with that little fucker. He's going to be running around here waving that Confederate flag. He's going to be just like his mama. Just like her. And it's unfortunate because people aren't born hating. Hate is taught. And his mother is teaching him hate. Now, obviously, he knows right from wrong. Because when it happened to him, now he's crying. He feels the pain and he was able to articulate his feelings. There are those who say, well, if he was black, he wouldn't have received that much support. I agree. However, I do believe black people would have still supported him had he been able to articulate himself the way that little kid did. He was very raw, emotional, passionate. He got his message across real well, even though now I believe it was a fraud. To think that the mother's actions have no reflection on the son whatsoever is a lie. You're living in denial. The mother is filling his head up with all kind of warped, idiotic ideas. And now he has to go out into the real world and face the consequences of his actions. Let me read you what he said to his mother in the video. Why do they bully? What's the point of it? Why do you find joy in taking innocent people and finding a way to be mean to them? Keith, I'm going to answer that question with your mother's own words. This is what she wrote on Facebook. Dear but hurt Americans, if you aren't bleeding, no bones are sticking out, and you can breathe, stop crying for the love. Some folks clearly never picked a switch. And before y'all start talking to me about metaphorical, emotional, financial, or historical blood and brokenness, 
Don't. Join a group. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?